welcome back as you can see as of now i'm working on my ubuntu so in the last video we did build a to do application but i started re recording the second video and my windows couldn't just start the application after that i mean it could start but it could not render so i just decided to after all go to ubuntu be because i have all the advantages over here so i just cannot remember how i was zooming in okay i think it's over there so in this part i'll be working on atom editor so i love it whenever i'm on ubuntu though i also love sublime so let's get a virtual environment so it's virtual so env and then to do then so i believe you know how to make models so i'll not be covering anything about making models so i made a simple model over here it's a to do model so it has user which is a foreign key title which is a character field timestamp which will be keeping track of the current time place will which will be indicating the place where the event will be taking place and then the time the date and time of the event which you are trying to keep track of and just returns whenever you this is called it will just be showing the title so whenever it's printed out so so that is a model and then i created a scheme so i don't know if i can but i guess this is everything you see here was <laughs> i what i did in my python in my windows so other than just typing everything out i'll just explain as if i'm writing so here i imported graphene and graphene and django gra django object type so django object type if you know django rest framework is like serializer class in django in that but over here it, it changes the django model into a graphene like object so which is queried so if you can see and then i imported the to do app which i created over here this is it so the model is over here so and then i created something a class over here if you can if you are keen then you will see that this is just almost like the django rest framework serializer class so there is a convention we normally follow you say to do which is the name of the model and then you give the type and then you say django object type which is like the serializer class in that case so and then it just takes in the another it has the measure class which are normally takes in the fields you want it could be anything like you could just decide to list all the fields here like user list things like you know wherever you you like over here that are over here that you could just decide to do them over here but you can see i just decided that you know i want it to have all because all the fields over here i want user to be able to at least query them and then it's using the model to do so that is like a serializer just know that and then we have a query which is you could name anything but i decided i could in fact do query type query object que just let's call it query you could just decide to name anything so this query will take will is basically what we, the class that we'll be using to make requests requests to graphene so it takes in the object the queries that you would like to be making so these are the queries we'll be making so to do is one of our query to do is another query so to do query will simply be doing getting a single object so that is why it's a field so you see a field is something like an object like a single like you normally do a get request so it it simply will be returning one and it's of type to do object which is over here and then it takes in an integer which is the id of the to do so and then we have to do's which is obviously several to do's to do so and then you see it's returning a list 
which is like an array in javascript so and then it's of type to do and then you can come you if you see over down here or down here i did user because i'm trying to get user so let me first explain how we make functions. So you see over here, I made a resolve to do function. So this is a function you cannot name anything. You have to name it this way. So you see, it's not obviously this way, but at least with this convention, where the first part is resolve and then underscore and then what the query you want to resolve. In this case, we are trying to resolve a to do query. So you see, it takes in resolve underscore to do and then the argument is root which is basically the class and then the info which is like the request parameter in Django it has all those request parameters like user and such stuff and then the ID which is an argument which we are trying to query so over here you will see it has it comes get the current user who is making the request in this way so this is basically how you'll be doing it whenever you're trying to get a user making request and then down here we are returning a single to do object dot get you could do something like select related and then just do user because you see user is a foreign key so at least we are doing an eager loading when we do select related so we can query all in one request and then we get user whose id we get the to do with whose id is given over here with the parameters i'll show you how to do that and then the user is the current user because you want you don't want to just return whenever somebody knows id you just return you want to make sure that the user is getting it is the user who created it and then resolve to do the same thing but now we are returning all the queries for the user so and then we just register the schema which is what we gave previously in the settings if you come with the settings in the first video we registered a to do schemas which was in the schemas schema so it's in to do schemas and then it's schema so basically the schema takes in several arguments but here we have only one argument as of now we will look at others as we go on like subscriptions and such but as of now we have only one query which is this so we register this query in our schema so let's start it okay python manage.py let's make migration first make migrations okay all migrations have been made then just migrate you know then let's just run the server and then go over here and just go to 127 and then graphing the url we registered over there if you still remember was graphing graphing is not it has to be this url we want to use it you know it will be making post requests so let's put it over there so those are the, uh, the requests so they are for my other application so we just made that and now we because we did all those things you see it over here it created for us this platform we did not make anything here django graphing graphing gives you a place to test your queries now let's see over here you see when by default i expect yours will be something like this but if you expand documentation every query and subscription and what do you know mutations you create <laughs> then you will be it will be added to documentation by default so you when you want to see queries you have you just do queries and then it you see over here it's a to do and then to do so how do we make queries to make a query you just simply do like to do and then you see it will most of the time it will be giving you auto completion and then the things you want like id for instance you see so you see <laughs> i was doing it wrong but i it's supposed to be this way to do's and then id so but you see anonymous object is not iterable because you see we are trying to make this request as a user anonymous user is not iterable because we are trying to make this request getting user who is 
located at to do yet we are not logged in so that brings me to another thing so let me end the server and then python and then let's create super user i mean i'm going to one of pressing this and if i ever deploy to github at least you know the password you expect to use password like just as the password is written now let's go to admin and log in so that we can at least admin then just log in because don't update so you see as of now we have that one user so let's register our model so fast in fact i will not do that i'll just do the simple way from the models import to do and then admin the site i just do that i don't i don't have to do lots of lots of things so to do is over here so let's get one to do as keen because obviously it will ask us for user and we know the only user we have now and we've logged in to title this borrow a book so a book we don't need to define the place and then the place is library maybe you know we could even say school library which means we are 24 hours from today now it has been created now let's go over here and do a refresh and then just press the data you see now we get data and then to do's and then id one but we want at least more fields more user now i guess we have to read actually let me i forgot to show you i forgot one thing i should have told you that now i know i already imported user over over here let me register a user so that at least we can see what is happening so let's create a class of user type and then user type by default there is a model we'll be using later which is for authentication it has all those other things you might need to do but for now let's just make our own user type and then the model obviously they share most of everything over here except the model is user is user and then you don't want to return password and such stuff and i would just know the only thing you want to do is username you want to return id you want to return first name and at least last name so and then over here just come let's say user is equal to graphing dot field and then it's user user type which is something like this okay I hope everything is fine. So you see, whenever we refresh the page, and then now you, whenever we want to get user, you can say first name of the user. And you see, now whenever we use, uh, where, where you, I think you, I need to show you one thing. You see over here, first name is normally separated with underscore in Django but whenever you use graphene then camel casing is introduced by default so you see last name so guys i hope this is I, I hope you see that this is really simple so that is a bit a simple way of how to get to do we can even do timestamp i think um title and such and such so this is how to make these are uh, the graphing queries we will be making so this is getting queries so how do we get a single query you just say to do but now it expect one parameter which is id and we know we only have one 
put ID one and we obviously we are the one who created it. So whenever we query it, then we get that. Now let's try something with two, which we know we don't have. We get to do matching query does not exist. So we get nice errors, which you can then display to user like even you, you can even decide to make your own custom. So that is really nice about this. And I think I might show you one more thing, like if user, if to do, then let's, let's say if user was the, if this is the user who created the, the to do, then we could do something like user mm, success is equals to graphing the to boolean field. So basically these things i hope as you i hope you've seen because i think as of now we've seen data types for types of data that graphene expect int strings strings you could just do like string over here and so you see it could be a string and then if it's a string then obviously id is not a string and that unless you come over here and just have to convert it to integer so that at least it can be accepted boolean and then let's see success let's go and see this is resolve to do this is for a single to do let's refresh and we get an error why why the error success okay to do because i, I think it's because you see data type over here is two which is not an integer now if we run we don't get back the request if we do one then we get it for that but i think you can see i was trying to show you data types so it's boolean it lists field for an object which is di like dictionary list for array boolean for true and false string for strings and int for integer and this is basically how to create so whenever we create the next time we will be creating something like subscription which is in the next video we will be adding over here so guys please I don't know if I should be saying subscribe or what, but I guess that is it for this video. Have a nice time. So, goodbye.